Hey guys, Caleb here with Camera Foundry. In this video, we're going to break down 3D printing the Go Lock for the Rode Wireless Go. So I'm going to talk about how to get these files uh, set up for printing. So here I have the 3D model. We'll come back to this here in a second to talk about something in particular. But for now, let's switch over to Prusa Slicer, which is the slicer of choice for me. So I use Prusa i3 Mark III S Pluses, I believe, as our printers. You can really use anything, of course, but um, I'm going to use this software because I think it's, you know, really good. You can use whatever you want, but this will hopefully give you an idea of how we go about printing these files. So if we hop over to Finder here, we have the Go Lock Body, which is the first file we are going to take a look at. So we're going to drop that into our slicer software. And the first thing I'm going to do is orient the front down on the bottom of the build plate. So I'm going to use this tool here, place on face, and I'll click the front here. And that is where we're going to print things. Yes, there are bevels, there will be slight overhangs, but they're at 45. So you should be good to go. So with that, we can go ahead and choose our quality. Really anything will work here. Uh, I would stick them in, I would recommend sticking with the 0.2 quality option which is one of the defaults in Prusa slicer or if you want to go a little higher 0.15 will also do a really nice job so if we hit slice there we are looking at an hour and 15 minutes to print this guy one thing i want to mention here is that this ring here toward the top of the model can get a little jagged so here in Prusa there is a really slick tool we'll go back to our 3d editor and up at the top here we can select our variable layer height and we can hover until we start to hit that part of the model again i will orient so that we kind of see the top of the model there let me switch that tool so we can more easily see what's going on and i'm going to hover right around here i could increase the quality and the layer height something like that so it's going to be much higher detail and uh, that's going to look a lot nicer on the model so that's an option if you're interested in that that'll round off that uh, part of the model really nicely Another thing you'll notice is this little guy right here. It's a little tab that is supporting an overhang. So this is going to, once printed, just break off with one finger. It'll be super easy. I'm gonna hop over to Fusion 360 here so we can actually take a look at this. So here is our model. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the cap as well as the, where is it, thread, there we go. And you'll notice right here, this is the actual support. I'll turn it off so you can see what's happening here. It's supporting this overhang. Um, so just keep that in mind, that's going to print with it, but you'll be able to simply snap that off once the file is printed. So that's pretty much it for the body. The rest is pretty straightforward. So we're gonna go back, we'll delete the body here and bring in the cap. Now the cap, can be a little tricky it is um it is knurled as you can see but most printers do a pretty good job with that the tricky thing is going to be the threads so really at the end of the day with this file you're just going to want to print at a pretty high quality so again 0.15 millimeter is going to work really well here i'll slice that and here's what you're looking at for your quality if you're still having issues with the threads you may want to bump the quality up even more but this has worked for us, and uh, again, there's 45s in the design, so you shouldn't have any issues with uh, you know, overhangs or anything like that. So this ought to print pretty well for you if you've got your printer dialed in. I will say these files, really all of them, work well on smooth surfaces. So textured build plates might be an issue, and this file in particular doesn't really like textured build plates because there's some really thin areas here. So you may have to add some kind of skirt or something to get that to work if you only have a textured build plate. Moving right along, let's work on the thread, and this one's super easy. You just drop it in and you hit slice. <laughs> it auto works just fine. Uh, just keep in mind, again, we've got threads here, so we wanna have a decent quality or decent layer height for this file. Again, if you want to really go for it, you can turn on variable layer height, find where the threads start. I'll zoom in so you can kinda see here. Something like here, and just crank up the layer height by clicking and holding on the left mouse. And now you're gonna have some really nice detailed threads. But that's pretty much it for these files and getting your Go Lock up and running. And of course, if you have any uh, critiques or things you would like to see change or just ideas for future stuff, let me know. And maybe if there's a version two, we'll work on that. Thanks again for watching guys. And we'll see you over on the website and on the YouTube channel.